Give us some men who know the truth. At some point in time, you would think, you would hope, you would pray that it would happen to stop. That is that some prominent man, a prominent pastor, would not find himself caught up in something to where he has to no longer, or he's no longer able to fulfill his role as a pastor or as a leader. Uh, unfortunately, that time has not come. As a matter of fact, that time will never come. And it bother, it's bothersome, especially now you're seeing more and more. It seems like you're seeing more and more prominent men who are stepping down either for an unnamed, un, unnamed, unknown sin or for a known sin. And you had hoped that, you know what, maybe the, the tide will kind of stem a little bit. It would slow down. But today uh, on their on their web page, Trinity Bible Church here in, in the Dallas area, uh, announced their pastor is being set down, being taken away out of ministry. This particular pastor is Stephen Lawson, who is fairly well known. I don't know if I believe they're wrong. I spent a lot of time in India with my father. I don't know about all their religion, but I know they love God. No, they don't. They hate God. I don't know. I've seen their sincerity so on worldwide television, so I don't know. Give us some men who know the truth. It's not enough to say that you want to stand for good, sound doctrine. You have to also be morally upright. Not that you have not sinned, but you cannot be involved in sin. Before I get to what I'm speaking of, let's go to their webpage and let's just read from them their uh, uh, statement. And let's make it a little bit bigger so you guys can kind of read along with me. It says, the elders at Trinity Bible Church of Dallas regretfully announced that effectively immediately Stephen J. Lawson has been removed indefinitely from all ministry activities at Trinity Bible Church of Dallas. Several days ago, the elders at Trinity Bible Church of Dallas were informed by Stephen Lawson of an inappropriate relationship that he has had with a woman. The elders have met with Steve and will continue to come alongside him and pray for him with the ultimate goal of his personal repentance. Stephen will no longer be compensated by Trinity Bible Church of Dallas. In light of this, we may be reminded that all are sinners and Jesus Christ came to the world to save sinners and 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 Christ remains head of the church, which is bigger than any fallen man. Uh, it says that, uh, in fact, Jesus Christ will continue to lead his church, including Trinity Bible Church here in Dallas, just like he has from the start of his work on January 5th, 2018. Uh, since that time, the elders have focused on the primacy of biblical exposition knit together by various men uh, filling the pulpit each week. And so... This is one of those things where you see certain people, you give them a certain level of respect, uh, though there is no man that really deserves that level of respect. But uh, let's just be clear, no matter how well you think a person is doctrinally, that doesn't trump the fact that a person might be in sin. Remember, and let's just be clear, he is unqualified to be in the pulpit. The Bible says this, and he didn't do this on, he didn't do this because he was forced to do so. The Bible says that it is a trustworthy statement if any man aspires to the office of overseer. So that means, this is you desiring to do so. This is Stephen Lawson desiring to do so, who I believe is, is married. And so here is where he's disqualified. Um, and it's pretty easy to see. An overseer must then be above reproach. He is not. He's engaged in something that he should not be engaged in. So therefore, he's got to take the, the consequences. He's the husband of one wife. This means someone who has more than one woman. If you're married and you are involved with someone else, that necessarily means that you are disqualified. Uh, the husband of one wife, temperate, prudent, respectable, that part is gone all of, all of a sudden. Uh, hospital, able to teach, not addicted to wine. You also have to have, now, by the way, it says that one who must manage his own household well, that's gone. Uh, and also have a good reputation amongst the outsiders. Notice how many things by this one sin, I don't know if it's a repeated thing. Apparently, it seems like it maybe it is. I don't know, one time thing, repeated, have no idea, don't know. But just that one thing nullifies you and, and disqualifies you in several different categories. It's a hard thing to be a man of God, even harder to be a pastor, which is why it says that person who desires, that person desires. It's not you being forced into doing it. And there are different temptations, but this is where you've got to have yourself surrounded by certain people 
This is where you need to make sure that you are in your word. This is where you need to have a good relationship with your wife, that she can also hold you accountable. I don't know what the issue is. And the Bible says, don't bring an accusation against uh, an elder. But if they do, you rebuke them in the presence of all. And, and I trust that that has taken place. Don't know how they run things over at Trinity Bible Church. Um, but here's the here's the warning. It says, let not many of you become teachers, my brother, knowing that uh, as a, as such, we will incur a stricter judgment. God deals harsher with those who are supposed to know better. Uh, and I think this is why you just need people, need men who are disciplined uh, enough to deal with the things that are going to come their way. It's one of the things that eerily or honestly, I, I kind of think it's kind of funny for me that uh, my fall, my issues take place before I step into a particular role. Uh, I'm grateful because I think I've, I've learned a lot. Uh, there's no there's no lesson learned like an earned lesson when you um, really fool what feels like the full force, the weight of the Lord's punishing punishment and discipline that helps you. That helps you a lot. It keeps you grounded. Uh, being humiliated is a way to keep you humble when he does the humiliating. It, it's just unfortunate that too many pastors are having to be humiliated after they become the lead pastor, after they are in charge of a flock, leading people. That's the sad part. And I just say that, and I'm pretty sure you all will do the same thing and just uh, keep keep him and his family and whoever this other woman is in prayer, the church as well. The Bible says that if anyone is fallen and trespass, that we who are spiritual should restore such a one. I won't have the opportunity to restore him, um, but the people that are around him can. And I pray that happens, not necessarily being restored to the to the ministry. And he's, he's older. And so that I'm pretty sure that boat, that ship has sailed. But in terms of being restored uh, in a favorable view by the people, uh, let's just pray that that happens. I don't know what's going on. Again, a man can look a certain way before the people and behind the scenes, behind the curtains, behind the doors, be something else. I have no idea about this person. Matter of fact, you don't either. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure people close to him probably didn't. And, and so that tells us not to esteem someone so high that they are bound to let us down, bound to, to disappoint us because there's no one that can achieve that height. But there still are certain uh, qualifications, certain standards that we want them to meet. Uh, the bar is not an impossible bar to meet. It's just, you know what? Don't do this to your family. Don't do certain things to other people. Don't be, don't find yourself living in sin and be, and be uh, not only have fidelity to your wife and to your family, but also to the text. Having one without the other still makes you disqualified. So unfortunately, but here's the good news. The Bible tells us that the profession of our faith, that Jesus Christ is the Messiah, that he is the Christ, that profession, not even the gates of hell can come against that. And so we thank God that while there is no man who's the head of the church, Jesus is the head of the church and we rest our comfort in that. Don't let this be a reason, guys, for someone to say, that's why I'm not going to church. I'm, no, don't do that because any man can and will be replaced. There's always somebody out there that can replace uh, someone if a if there's a, a particular part of a machinery that needs to be replaced, if a wheel needs to be replaced, if this component needs to be replaced, that's fine. Things still keep going. And so Steve Lawson or anyone else can still be replaced, but the gospel won't. And so don't make sure, make sure you don't use this as a reason or as a rationale to move further away. These are times where we need to be closer to the body, closer knit together than we need to be further apart. Amen.